Good day. This is Marlon Tan of GCF Batangas. At welcome ulit po sa another Evo on video. The passage today comes from the book of Psalm, chapter 29. Ngayon po, isasummarize po natin the past days that we have been discussing Psalm, chapter 29. From start to finish po, this chapter declares the splendor and wonder of the Lord God Almighty, whose name is great, whose glory is everlasting, and who is worthy to be praised and worshipped throughout the world. Tama po ba? The Lord is all-powerful and He is eternally omnipotent. Wala po siyang rival sa heavens and wala pong equal on earth. He is all-powerful. His strength brings protection, help, mercy, and joy. And the Lord will strengthen yung mga pagod, yung mga weary, and give grace to those who are humble. It is the same powerful Lord that controls the flashing lightning and the raging waters. Ito po yung nababasa natin sa buong Psalm chapter 20. And it's the same faithful God whose compassion never fails and whose mercies are new every morning. Who gently whispers, Peace be still into our stormy hearts. There is no mountain too big that cannot be moved by His command. There are no waters too wide that cannot be bridged by a powerful God. And there is no occasion or problema sa ating buhay that He will not respond to. The voice of the Lord is over waters and His glory thunders. The voice of the Lord is powerful and very majestic. This is a promise to be hope. His voice breaks the mighty cedars of Lebanon into pieces, causing Lebanon to skip like a calf and Syria to run like a young wild ox. Sabi, sinabi rin po sa atin that God's voice shakes the wilderness of Kadesh and even makes the wild deer give birth to their cows. Yes, the Lord is not only present in every situation and understands every circumstance that we are facing. But our Lord, our powerful Lord, knows that we are His. The Lord knows His people. Tayo po. And His people, tayo po, must know our Lord. Trust in the power of His might by faith. So we can say in full assurance, The Lord is my strength. I will not, in my own abilities, the Lord is my strength. I will trust in Him. Fully. The Lord not only gives us strength in time of need, but He also bless us with peace. We get to die peace to believe in Him, peace with God through the forgiveness of sin, and the peace of God that passes all human understanding. A peace that gives rest to our soul, our weary, pagod na soul, and still, make our still, our hearts still. No matter what life throws your way, ano mga kinakarap natin? We can have the confidence in the truth of God's word and joyously proclaim, The Lord is my strength and He is my peace. Let us pray. Lord, you never failed me in the past and I trust you tomorrow and in my future. Be my stronghold and my peace. Thank you for giving me the strength and blessings with the peace that passes all understanding. You are my God, you are my Lord, and we love you with all our hearts. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you, and see you on our next Vivo on video.